Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy, in case you forgot because you haven't seen me in forever. Yeah. That should be a song for this intro for all these vlogs. Hi. So, and it's been a while. Couple of things. I have not dropped off, you know, the face of this earth. I have been on social media a lot. I've just been enjoying doing content there. So if you do not follow me, that's why you think I disappeared. So follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm on TikTok, 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 TikTok. TikTok. It's fun. I'm trying to get more into it. I am genuinely trying to get more into it. I really, that app is fun. Anyways, so yeah, that's where I have been. Outside of that, I've not really been vlogging just because I've kind of just wanted to live my life. Um, if I'm hanging out with family or like my small group of friends, I've just not felt the need to record it. I've just felt the need to just enjoy their company and just love it because vlogs are basically miniature reality TV shows and sometimes it can be exhausting to shoot it. So that's why I wasn't shooting vlogs. But anyways, I'm back. Hi. And I shot a vlog. For, uh, I've actually been shooting a vlog for the past two weeks and... So I just wanted to bring you into my world for the past two weeks, so welcome. Morning. We're gonna go work out and then we're gonna have breakfast because we're like wild like that. Yes. <laughs> My face is itchy. So, I am getting ready to start my day. I am so late. Um, I need to shave my head, dye it, um, the whole bit. I'm going back to bronze. Very excited about that. So let me just do my hair real quick and then I will update you guys on everything. Let me take off this first. <laughs> Okay, the hair has been dyed and I'm just waiting for it to dry so I can do my makeup and everything else. Anyway, so what have I been up to, truck? Alright, so number one, I got new side table lamps for my bedroom. Um, I passed by Glowlight Studios and we decided to invest in... Um, very good quality heavy duty good side table lamps that can move with us wherever we go because we're not planning to stay here forever um obviously we'll have to move end of this year to or next year or something like that uh to a different space and we just wanted something that can easily move with us no matter where we go and can go with whatever vibe we go for so yeah let me just show you guys the lamps so here are the lights uh yeah i love them they are sturdy like they are heavy like they're good quality like it's it's a little arm workout sturdy sturdy is the word um anyways yeah so here are the lights anyways another change is for the bedroom we got new uh throw pillows from smart lady homes i've gotten some stuff from them before and i just wanted something to just like vamp up the room a little bit more so let me show you guys that oh and also a new laundry basket love them i feel like they just kind of help complete the bed um still doing a few more changes like i really want to replace his mirrors like i hate them so much <laughs> um but yeah just working slowly you know at my own pace but yeah, very cute. I will tag Smart Lady Home down below. It is an Instagram page. I've used them quite a lot, so they're very trustworthy. And the quality is fantastic. Like, do you see that? Like, all that is, like, woven in. But this one as well. I've had these for a while. These are also from Smart Lady Home, still in the same condition uh, from when I got them years ago. But yeah. And here is the new laundry basket. So cute. Just gonna chill there. Oh, another update. So if you guys follow me on social media, 
you will know that I did a challenge with Bell Meds, um, with Bell Med Spa where we're supposed to be doing like skin tightening and fat reduction procedures, non-surgical before people are like, oh my god, plastic surgery. And even if it was plastic surgery, what's your issue? Like, what's your issue? Anyways, it's non-surgical. Um, they had hit me up and they were just like, hey, if you're willing to try us out, please try us out. Let us know what you think. And I was just like, I mean, if it's free, whom's the mind to say no? So I will be giving you guys an update on that uh, at the end of this video. It was supposed to be a separate video, but then what happened was I shot the um, telling the story part. Like, I still have the BTS, like, the procedures and everything that we did. But the actual sit down and me discussing it, I accidentally formatted the card that I shot that on. And just getting myself to sit back down and reshoot everything was just no. So, I'm going to squeeze it into this vlog. And it's going to be at the end of everything. So, stay tuned for that um so this is the garnier Char uh, garnier three in one charcoal mask i love using it like three times a week so that's what we're doing today Ooh. okay cool so i will see you guys after i wash this off i need to have lunch i'm starving Okay, so I am dressed, ready to go. I have finished all my meetings, I've finished my shoot, so I'm heading out for dinner with the girls. Um, let me just show you guys my outfit of the day. So here's my outfit of the day. I'm wearing black and white, basically. Uh, this bag is from GV Boutiques. Pants are from New Level, Nancy Moye. Top is from Jumia. Earrings from Beauty Galore, and it's the look. She cute, I like it. Stuck in the past watching videos of us. I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I Look who's joined us, Mrs. Stancella! Ooh, I like your hair like that! Thank you, girl! It's a kilo bar. Oh my gosh! Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart and you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you and everything we said But I can't seem to get these thoughts So we are here at, a weird scratch on my Okay, so we're here at Ibis and we are trying out the new menu for the roast squad. It's just gonna be a bunch of nyama. And look at this nyama. Hey, snack! <laughs> um, so yeah, that is what is happening today. Um, the place is actually quite packed, that's why I'm not really showing you guys the full venue because I do not like posting people who do not want to be in a vlog instead of a vlog. Because I may just expose people by mistake. Mm. Anyway, so yeah. So Marianne, have you tried out the new... Because of the shadow, you have to come over here. Anyway, so... We came on time. We came on time. Well, sorry, you know when Chris invites you, you don't have Hola, so I am running out real quick to pick up, well actually not pick up, so I'm getting prescription sunglasses and I'll show you where I actually got my new glasses from. Uh, clearly I'm not wearing them right now, but I will show you where I got them. Um, and I have to take and do these there because of time, so yeah, gonna come with me. Feeling so low, thinking about you and where we went wrong. Cause I wanna know why you let me go. Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby. I wanted you, wanted us to be something. I was 
was so sure I let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart and you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you and everything we said But I can't seem to get these thoughts out of my head Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? We are going either it'll be prescription or it's not going to be prescription. We'll just decide with the style that I go for. But then another thing that I'm working on right now is getting contacts. And that is a process that we're going to do next week. And I'll bring you guys with me because um, I need contacts. I only wear my glasses at home and sometimes outside the house. And I feel like it's not good to do that. Let's look at some glasses. So the ones that you guys saw me picking out are the ones that I like. And then we'll just go from there. I found some wild ones, which I don't know if I'd actually wear them on a constant basis, but they're cute, not my style. I'm thinking I'm just gonna get like classic aviator style, cause they just go with everything. I feel like cause I don't have hair, I need like bigger, I don't know why. Also these make me look sad cause of the shape and I don't have anything happening up here. These are the same frames for my actual glasses and what we did was they're the only ones that I liked on my face so we got these and then we popped out the lens and then we replaced it with my prescription so they don't look the same in sunglass form on my face right now my fave yeah. let me check my big mirror These are the winner. So, I just had a crazy moment. So, um, I saw this comment in my YouTube video for my home tour. This comment. I'm gonna blank out his name because I feel like what they want is attention and you're not gonna get that. You're definitely not gonna get your name out there at all, sir. Um, but I will show you idiotic comment. But anyways, I just had a crazy moment where it was quite therapeutic because I saw the comment, I went off. Like I did a whole video and I like I was going all the way off, clapping my hands, doing a lot of this. And then as soon as I stopped pressing record, I felt like so much better. If you are ever having like a bad day and you just need to go off, might I suggest turning on a camera, going all the way off and put it in your head that you're gonna post it, right? So you go all the way off and then stop recording and then don't actually post it. It is so therapeutic. Like immediately after I went off, and when I like when I say I went off, I mean we buy it because we are a 50-50 household. Like I swear, again, I usually never say nothing, but y'all have me all the way up. It is 2021. I am a different kind of girl. I am not the one. I went off. Um, but as soon as I stopped pressing record, oh my god, I immediately was just like, huh, I feel so much better. I actually don't feel the need to, you know, talk about this. I mean, I, I replied to his comment and I felt like that, like, as soon as I, like, stopped recording, I was like, that's all I needed to, like, the reply was all I needed because he's an idiot. Like, why do I need to? Clearly he has no idea what the hell he's talking about. What is that that's smoking? I, is that a house? Hold on. Where are my glasses? I think we're okay. I think people are just burning garbage. Anyways, yeah, so that was really therapeutic. Okay, so I am basically ready. This is gonna be a very long shoot. This one, I'm approximating that it's probably gonna take me like two to three hours and it's going to be maybe 20 seconds long. And this is the song that I'm gonna be using. But I can give it to you all the time. Bang, bang into the room. I know you want, you guys know that song. I can't play it for long because copyright strikes are legit a thing. I have rehearsed for the past hour and a half. Well, first of all, it took me an hour to find this song. Um, so there's a little trick when it comes to these TikTok transition, whatever, videos, whether you're doing fashion, makeup, or whatever. You need to figure out what the end result 
should be before you start planning everything else so i already know what i want the end video to look like and then i use that to now backtrack and try to figure out the sound um the theme that i'm gonna go with and everything like that so for this one i am doing a lbd theme which is little black dress like a little black dress for everybody um it's different styles some are edgy some are you know very good girl um it's four looks i can't do more than that because sanity that's how you lose your damn mind yeah that's that's basically what we're doing so i've already arranged my clothes i am shooting from beginning to end you don't for it to be smooth you can't go in the middle and stuff like that okay so let's go set up the camera Okay, everything is set up. I used this tripod to be where I'm going to stand. Also, I used some tape, a very small amount. Right there, you see the little white dot? That dot is going to signify where one foot has to be the entire time. Like, I can't move that foot. See, I chose this to be my job. It leaves what it leaves. All right, so, ha, let's start with the first transition. So here is outfit number two, the LBD. God, I hope you guys can see this because I can't see without my glasses. Anyways, yeah, so let's do this. Okay, so this is outfit number two. This is the sexy LBD. Um, this is from trendsetters they're on instagram i'll put the information down below actually i'll do the information down below for all my outfits including my first one so yeah with this cute little brown bag and some little dainty heels check out my instagram you'll see the full looks now all right let's do this sure let my guard down for you baby why'd you have to lie all right, I think I'm done with that take, so time to review what we have done so far. Okay, so third outfit, Kenyan designer, again, I'm so tired, check out Instagram. Okay, I'm done. Oh, my back is so itchy. Oh, so nice. Um, so I'm gonna get some food in me, and then we're gonna edit. I first also need to wash off my makeup. I'm really into this whole dot thing under the eye. Yesterday I had it with the black dot. Oh, was it the day before when I had the dinner? Um. Today I did it with the gem. It's just my new thing. It's like my obsession currently. I love it. Anyways, so let me oh wash off my face. I'm tired. So my what's up? What's up? What's up? Ooh 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 ooh. The edit didn't go as smoothly as I thought because I messed up the last part. Um, this part, the transition, the legs were off. I was really pissed off, like really pissed the hell off. I could have easily reshot it, but I said, screw that, it's never that serious. So, Ily as well, Ily is. Next time, like this is what this is what we do, you know? You live and you learn, you learn and you live, and you just go with the flow. Um, so hopefully next time I'll do a better job. Um, makeup is done, and I'm loving this look. <laughs> Same thing from yesterday. <laughs> hey, you girl is not creative! Um, so right now I'm heading out for a quick brunch. Like it's not gonna be quick. Like I'm going for a brunch with a friend of mine. It's gonna be a good time. So let me call my Yumba. Now I'm stop, drinking non-stop, just trying to forget you and everything we said. But I can seem to get these thoughts out of my head. Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that.
also I got the fish and chips taco. Highly, highly recommend. So good. Mm. 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 Hello, so I'm getting ready for an event. I am going to a launch for Tenkore Sevier. Hold on. Hello. Sorry, Uber or Taxify, whatever. Anyways, so that's what's happening. Uh, so far, I got contacts. Let me show you behind the scenes of that. So we are trying on contacts right now. So she's gonna put in the contacts for me because the last time I wore contacts, I had hair, so it's been a while. Um, so we're gonna try them on, see how, and they're actually gonna be the, my pre prescription. So I'm gonna be seeing how the vision feels like the whole bit. And then we're gonna go from there. Oh, and then I'm gonna put them on myself. And then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so look down. Yeah, that, that's, that's right. Towards your nose. That's it, that's great. Look at me. Look down. Look up. Look. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you gotta look up again. And look up, down, okay, slowly, slowly, different directions. Huh, I can see. <laughs> oh my god, I can see. So this eye is still taking a second to adjust, and this eye is completely fine. Alright, so I've had them on for like 10 minutes, so we're going to try taking them out and then putting them back in. <laughs> and I have nails, so let's see. But they're shorter now. So I'm also getting colored contacts. Gray ones. <laughs> For fun, because why, Why not? <laughs> Boom, stomach. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. So the and also, we got a new mirror. And here is the result. There she is, so simple and clean. So this is from Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Who's the fairest of them all? I'll put the information down below. So cute! Oh, and outfit of the day. This is a dress from TJ Collections. I'm going floral for the launch. It is for the Tanqueray Sevillier. Um, and I'm rocking it with these brown heels from... London from Fleek London. Fleek London. They kind of just go with everything. And I'm going to be rocking an orange purse. And yeah, that's it. Let me start heading downstairs. I'm feeling like I'm running out of time. Every day the same because I'm looking for a sign instead of chasing it. The good or the bad, I'm embracing it. If you make it bad, yeah, then you got to lay in it. Reality, I'm facing it. Success, I want a taste of it. My talent never wasted it. The top is where we're taking it. However long it takes for us, because we ain't never giving up and doing it. So we're here a little bit early. Um, just had to take off my mask because we're doing some photos. Uh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> So here's the setup, it's so pretty! Open the door and then you give it up. Let it simmer, dim the light, and let it glimmer. Lord, I know I've been a sinner, but in all, I'm still a winner. We've been working through the winter, yeah. We've been working through the winter, yeah. Yeah. Grand winners eating Sunday dinner by my grandmom. Gotta spend time with the fam when you had time. And I just wanna thank God, cause he done done a great job and molded me to be a better man. Just for mankind. We was young and dumb, but that feeling never faded. Knew that you was the one, that's why I never downgraded. Depression caught up to me and it made me isolated. The only one I was ever comfortable around naked. It was times I messed with other girls and had to fake it. Even through all the BS, you told me that I would make it. Gave me your heart and told me take it, but never forsake it. You cut oh. Hi. Hi, Nelly. Hi. 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 That's a pal in a loop. 
people else is back there and a whole lot. Charles Tamper is amazing. Yes, Charles Tamper is amazing, isn't it? Yes. So he made something 200 years ago that has been awesome, awesome, awesome. But I deserve it if I'm not mistaken I wouldn't trade it all cause of the memories we created So happy I was at BSU when you graduated All the time that was wasted, you on my mind I wasted Pick up the phone, let it ring once and hang up aggravated Cause I was in a situation that made me deflated And I kept thinking about you like Great Ocean on a station One sunny day in September, I finally lost my temper And hit your line saying let's make this one to remember Your so-called friend tried to tell you I'm a pretender I think she want what you got, but let me not offend the truth will set you free as long as you surrender And if you send in bad vibes then I return to sender like this Okay, so now what we are going to do is bring you back into my kitchen because I've not brought you guys into my kitchen for a very, very long time I am making a vegan coconut curry It is a tofu coconut curry it's absolutely delicious i know you'll see me eat me twice in this vlog but i've gone back to a predominantly plant-based diet but when i am outside the house i will eat meat like they don't order vegan food in a restaurant that's just ridiculous i make it at home so if i do leave the house i will eat meat once in a while i try to leave it to just maybe eating meat once or twice a week max the rest of the time i try to keep it as plant-based as possible uh, maybe breaking here and there with maybe an egg you know uh, but yeah so here's how to make a vegan tofu coconut curry so today we are starting with the kitchen I am meal prepping because I am currently in the process of doing a six-week challenge with Shiv I actually already started it over three and a half weeks ago but then I had to pause for one week because of a health thing so when that happened then the next week was hard for me to get back on it <laughs> just because I think I worked out twice it's just it usually takes me a, like if I take a long break it takes me a minute to get back on the groove so um and also I had to travel anyways I'm back and I'm basically just saying starting tomorrow because today is Sunday starting tomorrow I'm actually starting the six week challenge from the beginning like I'm not gonna take any shortcuts I'm doing it from the beginning but there is a change if you guys had followed my fitness journey from months, 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 months ago, you guys know that I was predominantly plant-based when it came to my diet. But then life has sort of kind of happened to where I'm not plant-based anymore. It's not something I'm proud of. It's just part of it is due to laziness. Another part of it is due to work. I've been having a lot of meetings, um, very small, like very small uh, events that I have to go to because of work and because like I just I have to eat meat if it's there Yeah, so I'm back to plant-based and right now I've already meal prepped everything I have made spinach. I'll actually just show you guys. Let me show you so so far I have my vegan creamy spinach um, This is sweet potatoes that I like to just roast and have um, On the side of in case I don't want to have rice. I'll just have this as my carb these are onions that have been sweated all the way down. I love to use this for wraps. Um, there's this burrito that I'll be showing you guys as I'm making it that I love having and I just love throwing that in there. I've got some brown rice going here. I'm going to make some veggies on the side and then mix them together. So yeah, um, the recipe that I want to show you guys today is how to make really crispy tofu for a tofu curry. And the reason why i love tofu it's just it's a really good plant-based protein to have it's a little fidgety so if you don't know how to work with it it can be a pain in the ass but this recipe is very very simple i'm going to use the air fryer to get it nice and crispy and dry it out even more right now it's in the process of draining because you have to drain tofu before you make it because then it sis if it's not dried well so let me first show you guys how I drain it I do not have a tofu press because I'm too lazy to buy one uh, but let me just show you my little thing this is how my tofu comes I get it from zucchini it comes in like a fluid that it kind of sits in and it just it looks like a big white block of completely flavorless cheese that's what it looks like it's not cheese I basically have the tofu stacked up underneath um, this grill thing 
and then it's on a plastic thing and then this is a tofu and then on top of that is a bunch of books to kind of weigh it down and to just push out as much liquid as possible so that's what kind of helps with getting crispier um, meat-ish kind of vibes with your tofu cool like you gotta do that tofu otherwise it gets bleh. so here we have my basic um, block of tofu I am now just dabbing it one more time to just get as much liquid as I can off. Now I'm just going to slice it into cubes. That big. Okay, so I've put the tofu in Ziploc bags. So it can be able to marinate easily. So for this, I'm kind of usually quite YOLO. So I'm just going to throw in a little bit of teriyaki sauce. Because why not? Some soy sauce. Um, this is the mushroom dark soy sauce. And because I am using soy sauce, I won't need to add any um, salt. And then just a touch of olive oil. Okay, and I'll just seal it well. And then I just let it sit in here for about 30 to 45 minutes in the fridge. Now for the spice, because we're going to go from the tofu that's been marinating into the spice and then into the air fryer. Um, again, I also just wing it, so some cayenne pepper and it's done. Some garlic powder. Some turmeric. Some curry powder. some ginger powder and lastly some cornstarch that's what gives the crunch and then just mix it up okay I'll see you guys in 30 minutes well a second all right it's been 45 minutes excuse the lighting the sun is going down anyway so here I have my tofu so here's the tofu and here is the mixed spice. I'm just gonna add like three at a time, mix it well and then put it in the air fryer tray. Okay, so here's the tofu. Let me throw it in the air fryer. Okay, there we have it. I cooked this for about 15 minutes and every few minutes I just come and like shake it up. So now let's make the curry. So I'm going to start by just sauteing the onions, diced onions, and letting them sweat down. All right, now I'm just throwing in tomatoes. So I'm just going to add all the spices. So again, I just wing it. I'm just adding in some ginger powder, some garam masala some turmeric some curry powder cumin powder just making sure it's mixed well and this is just some seasoned salt but if I don't have this I'll just throw in regular salt I'm not just throwing in a little bit of water so you can be able to cook down Oh, wait, before I forget, ginger and garlic. Some garlic paste and some ginger paste. And then I'm going to cover it and come back in like five minutes. Okay, and I'm just throwing in a little bit of tomato paste. I'm letting that cook down a little bit. And now the coconut milk. And I'm just gonna let it cook for five minutes before I add the tofu. Okay, I'm now dumping in the tofu as it is.
Okay, now Dania. I love a lot of Dania. Yummy. Just want to taste one of them with a little bit of sauce. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So we're back to plant-based. And just like before, I'm going to be doing 90 to 95% plant-based. Um, animal products, I'll try to keep it as simple as like, you know, eggs here and there. And cheese, because... Burrito. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to really try to avoid eating high amounts of meat like I have been in the past like two months so all right let me let this thing cool and then pack it up and that is the recipe I hope you guys try it out it's really good very simple once you get the hang of it and it's absolutely delicious highly recommend it so if you follow me on social media you'll know that I did a challenge or tried to do a challenge with Bell Med Spa um, they're located next to Yaya and they do body sculpting procedures, non-invasive, it's not surgery, it's all, you know, using machines and pieces of wood and things like that to try to sculpt your body. Um, they do everything from butt lifts to breast lifts, um, helping reduce fat in whatever areas that you want, whether it's in the tummy area, the back, the arms, and they have different procedures that do different things so they hit me up in October and they wanted me to try it out with them but I kind of wanted to take my time and first do my research before fully accepting um, these are things I've always been very curious about so I just said why the hell not uh, so that's what happened um, so I went to visit them once in October and I did a couple of Insta stories on that and after that day, I just took November time to just like research, also needed to work, and just figure out what exactly it is that they do and see if it's something that I really wanted to do. And my biggest thing was I really genuinely wanted to try this out. And we kind of had to have an agreement that if I try this out, I'm allowed to be 100% honest, and which is what I'm going to do. And also number two, I really didn't want to do anything evasive, nothing that has um, any serious or what a permanent side effects of any kind I just wanted to be you know simple enough to where we can test it out and you know scratch my curiosity itch because I've seen these procedures before and I've always been very like is this, is this legit so let me just talk about the procedures that I did and my experience and we'll just move on from there so number one what I really wanted to do was not necessarily to lose fat don't get me wrong from the time that I did my fitness video till December I had gained a little bit of weight but that was just simply because things started going back to normal so when I first started my fitness journey I was working out six to seven days a week and anywhere between an hour to two hours because we were in lockdown I had nothing else to do so I lost a significant amount of weight during that time so when things slowly got back to normal and my working out went from two hours a day six days a week to 35 minutes a day four to five times a week of course your body is gonna kind of go back a little bit because you're just not working out as much and i was expecting that would happen so with that slight weight gain i wasn't really bothered by it um it wasn't significant enough to wear um, my clothes didn't fit or anything like that so i was fine so my biggest thing was more of my skin my skin is just naturally not tight it's just something that is genetically how i am um i'm always squishy even when i'm skinny for some weird reason still squishy um and, and specifically for my stomach area, it's mainly just because I have been very heavy before and have lost weight. So that's just one of the things that kind of happened with that. So my biggest goal was just anything to tighten up my skin. That was it. Did not have to lose weight at all. Um, and But if I somehow got a six pack out of it and lost all the fat in my belly, whom's I might say no. That was my original plan. So this was me before. So what I really would just want to work on is just more tightening of this area because I don't know if you can see that. My skin is just not tight. Like it's just not tight. Like I want this. Right? 
right? It was originally supposed to be an eight week plan, but I could only do three weeks because of work. Just physically could not go any further than three weeks. Now let's talk about the procedures. They are located uh, next to Yaya. Uh, the clinic itself is a pretty simple clinic. It has two rooms where, where they do most of the procedures. They have an area in the front. Um, from my experience, they were very, very clean. They would clean before and after every single client because we're in the middle of a panoramic. Um, I kept my mask on the entire time, so did the people who were working on me. So during my three weeks there, they did three different procedures and they would kind of mix and match depending on the day. It wasn't the same thing every single day and I would go twice a week I think there was one of the weeks where I went three times a week and those three procedures were number one we did the electro muscle stimulation EMS we also did the lipo laser and cavitation and we also did the wood therapy sorry I had to grab something okay so the first procedure that I did was actually a combination of two things which I ended up turning into just doing one of them so it was a combination of laser lipo and ultrasonic cavitation so laser lipo breaks down the fat at the targeted spot or area without breaking or penetrating the skin it takes about an hour of your day um, and the procedure has zero downtime and it's a pretty effective way to reduce fat in an area I'm reading this off the internet so that was the first one I did not like it I did it twice I, I really did not like it I did not like it I did not like it so they basically strapped me up with bands and then they put these pads they were quite thick and they put them right inside the like between the bands and my skin they put them there all the way around all the way to my sides um, they turned on the machine at first it was comfortable but then it would get hotter so let me just show you the behind the scenes of that Okay, she's turning it on. Get warmer. And then how long will I have this on for? The camera. For now. Minutes. For 45 minutes. So I have 13 minutes left on this update. It's gotten hot. Okay, side. Okay. Oh. What are these? Have like dots. Yeah, because of the laser lights, but it's clear. Oh, okay, they clear. Yeah. In how long? So we would keep it on anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, just depending on what I had. Um, well, I only did it twice, but one of the days I just didn't have enough time to include that long of a session because we did other stuff before. Um, it left black dots on my stomach, which did go away after three, four, five days. Um, it honestly it was just very uncomfortable. It was really, really hot, and I did not like those dots, which is why I only did it twice. I feel like the dots, like I, I don't know why they're there, but according to the internet, it's fine. But I was just like, I'm good. So after the laser lipo, we did the ultrasonic cavitation. So the ultrasonic cavitation is. A body contouring treatment that is used to reduce and remove fat deposits under the skin the treatment uses ultrasonic radio waves to break apart fat cells that are then absorbed into the body by your lymphatic system and then I remember somebody mentioning something about you pee it out I didn't get that part I didn't understand that mainly just because when it comes to fat the way the fat like the fat in your body so when you gain weight you don't grow more fat cells like you're born with the fat cells that you have so when you gain weight the fat cells that you have get bigger and then when you lose weight those fat shell those shells whoo those fat cells shrink and then when you get liposuction they physically take out the fat cells which is why lipo works really really well um when it comes to any kind of procedure because you're physically actually taking out fat cells so the way the machine was it basically it almost looks like a flashlight with a red um head and they would first massage my stomach then they would put this ointment like they would use for ultrasounds and then you just put it directly in the area that you were trying to reduce the fat from i was very comfortable with this so we did this one a couple of more times than we did the um the other one i did the laser lipo i really did not like that one um, 
Um, so that one was actually very relaxing, the ultrasonic cavitation, I mean. It was very relaxing, you just chilled, it was basically like a tummy rub. Only difference was, there was a weird screechy noise, which was not bad, it was not uncomfortable. It was just like, huh, I can hear it and nobody else can hear it. So that was interesting. I don't know how much results I got from it, but also again, it could just be for the simple fact that I did not do it for the eight weeks that was required of me. I just physically had no time. All right, so the second procedure that we would do is electrical muscle stimulation. So electrical muscle stimulation is basically stimulating the muscles with an electrical impulse to make it um, contract. It is clutching the hell out of like my muscles. Wait, okay, hold on. So that's on. It's on right now. Relaxed. Do you see how it just goes? It's on again. Relaxed. On. <laughs> and I'm not doing the, it's doing it by itself. Uh, so the way it works is they put these flat pads like six or eight depending on like your I don't know your size and they put them in the area that you want to stimulate the muscle so for me it was the ab area so they put in the front like here and on the side okay so they would do that they would turn it on it comes it, it has like i think five levels so level one to level five um i personally had no issues with it okay we've done the we've just done the ems we're in level four right now we're going to level five go okay Is it? that fun? Yes, yes, yes. Is that the highest? Yes, yes. I did it. Okay, I can do it. That's, this, this is easy. You just have to train yourself. Okay, I'm good. Okay, fair enough. Level five. Uh, some people say it's very painful to do the level five. I was able to do level five on the first day. It could just be simply because I generally do work out still four to five times a week. So maybe my body was just used to clean. I don't know. I don't be knowing. Um, but yeah, it didn't hurt. Um, I wish that I maybe gave this a longer chance than three weeks because I do know people who do do this. Um, I have friends in South Africa who do this on a weekly basis and they use it as an add-on. So they do their regular workouts and they are intense. Like they work like work out. I'm active. There's a difference. Like I'm active. They work out. Like work out. Um, so they use it as a way to help define the muscles that they're already working on to just make them define a lot better and a lot faster so that's how they use it sorry so that was that with the EMS um, yeah I wish I just did it for the amount of time that I was told to do it but it is what it is life happens that's why I'm giving you guys an honest review all right so what was the next thing we did the wood therapy so wood therapy when you're talking about wood therapy when it comes to body contouring is just the process of using wood tools some of them are like rods other ones are cups and just vigorously massaging specific areas a lot of it is used to help with stress um, some people when they work out so much they love to use wood therapy but also people use it a lot for um, cellulite reduction um, there are other things that I don't know if like I don't even know how to even tell you if it works that way where they say it's like um, it helps reduce toxins in the system and da, da, da. like I never I don't remember ever doing it and being like oh I feel like the toxins are out of my system I don't even know what that feels like so um, I'm just gonna talk about it in the regular technical aspect she basically would just use a bunch of wood rods and cups and just massage the absolute hell out of my stomach and side area like the hell out of it check that jiggle out the hell out of it like she just made me a chapo she was just trying to make chapos out of my body now did it hurt the first three times hells to the yes like yes like there's certain parts that you're like oh that's actually kind of nice and there were parts where you're just like clenching your toes being like you're doing this for a youtube video you're doing this for a youtube video you're doing this for a youtube video oh my god this hurts but after that i got over it um i feel like out of everything it's the only thing that i saw some slight difference it could be as simple as my body's being pinched and pulled and 
chugged and punched so much that I feel like I can feel a difference. I don't know, but I actually started to enjoy it after the third day and started to actually notice a slight difference. Not enough, but that's also because, again, I didn't do it long enough because... Even the wood therapy, we started it from the second week and only on the third week. So I technically only did it for two weeks. Um, so out of everything, the one thing that I definitely actually am considering doing again is the wood therapy. I felt like I could tell a slight difference in my skin more with the wood therapy than anything else. Um, I felt like I could feel a difference. I felt like I could see a difference. And also outside of like the body contouring, it actually helped me a lot with days when I had more tougher workouts. She basically just like massaged the hell out of my muscles, which I really enjoyed. So I'm probably gonna be doing that one again, not gonna lie. It was actually quite nice. I mean, if you get over the excruciating pain the first two days, I mean, it's fine. I actually started to enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, now let me just show you guys my before and afters. So, this was week one, like first day. This was one and a half weeks into it. And this was the last day. Okay, so originally we had measured in the beginning and I measured at the end. Um, I mainly just focused on the waist area. Uh, when I first started, it was 30 inches. And then when we finished, it was like 29.26 or something like that. Like I basically lost three quarters of an inch. I did notice that the skin did start getting better like for week two and week three because the wood was introduced and i was doing more wood therapy than anything else so it could just be that um like i said i really did enjoy the wood therapy it's something that i do want to reconsider trying again um very 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 soon if i do do that i will try to do a full eight weeks yeah i feel like that's it uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry that this video is as long as it is. But I could not go another day without doing this. Bells popping because people keep hitting me on my DMs. So I had to squeeze it in this video. I don't know what's going on with me. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, thank you. Please, dear God, Joy, do not fall. Do not, do not. Hopefully, I will not get in my own way. And hopefully, it'll be next week. I will see you guys next week. I've said it. Damn it. Speak it into existence. Goodbye. Signing out from my bedroom office. Slash just regular office because there's no bed in here. But it is technically a bedroom. Cheers.